by Kojiko North Bay News. To watch the full newscast, tune into channels 12 or 700 live at 5.30 p.m. Monday to Friday. North Bay resident Jeff Fournier authored a petition to keep the Dion Quintz home and artifacts in North Bay. Fournier took exception to Chair of Community Services Mark King's comments concerning Fournier's knowledge of the yearly operating costs to maintain the building. Well, there are uh, at least uh, four past presidents of the Chamber of Commerce that would be probably disagree with you because of the uh, makeup of the home and what it uh, takes to operate on a yearly basis. I've it's, spoken to yeah. some of those past presidents and I disagree with you. Well, quite frankly, I don't think you have the knowledge. But having said that, quite frankly, okay, I, I don't I, think it's okay, any I'm going to uh, I'm going to stop I think the that's exchange right now. We're trying to do the right thing. That's what we're trying to do. And I've explained to these people here tonight. I talked to them, you know, right after the meeting. Uh, that it's created a uh, publicity issue. Um, I'm not sure where we're going to go after this, uh, if in fact the parties that uh, were prepared to, uh, uh, you know, come to an agreement will still be there tomorrow. Well, I really don't appreciate being called a liar. <laughs> and uh, that's what he was doing. So I told him, I called him out on being disrespectful. So Mayor Al stopped it because... Uh, I had some uh, difference, a difference of opinion, and you know he sa he talked about all these past presidents who were behind what they were trying to do, uh, the committee, and I disagreed with them. I disagreed that some past presidents are not; they're they're in favor of this. Now, at the end, out on that. <laughs> at the end of tonight's meeting, it's on committee, so no decisions yeah. are going to be made. But however, staff report recommended that the actual physical building be taken to Strong uh, Township, Sun Sunridge, and then the artifacts would be dispersed among Calendar and Ipsy University. Yes. But you want it to stay in North Bay at the end of the day, do you not? I do. I honestly don't have a problem with Nipsing University taking the, the paper documents and that because when you look at it from an authentic, authentic point of view, those paper documents aren't in plain view. Neither, neither are the, the negatives are they in plain view. But when you have like the, the other artifacts in the house itself, now that becomes uh, an issue of authenticity and atmosphere and everything else. And any historical expert will say that they should be kept together. The mother of the Dion quintuplets is a Legro. So you can might understand the passion of Roche Legro, who is a, 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 a relative of, of some distance, being so passionate in this regard to the point that he has had great difficulty to represent himself because of the emotions involved in this. Well, I, I think it's been made very clear, not just by myself, but uh, the, uh, the citizens of North Bay and surrounding areas have said, wait, let's look at this and, and uh, uh, get some input. We have a, a number of great ideas, uh, Mr. Fournier's idea. So now that this item remains on committee, what happens now? Investigate it further. Um, the, the options that we heard was uh, strong. We heard Ottawa, we heard the waterfront, we heard artifacts staying with the Harris Learning Library. Uh, right now where uh, it all sits, it sits on uh, general government and uh, the deputy mayor uh, will take leadership on that file and he'll bring uh, something forward to council. Uh, I'm hope hopeful in the very near future. Would you like to see it stay in the city? Uh, considering the costs, I know that needs to be weighed into the decision, but would you like to see it stay in North Bay? I, you know what, I just, I want the best possible place. I, I guess I'm the type of person that I see how the sisters were exploited. Um, so I'm really concerned about that. Uh, d d if we keep doing it, are we just continuing to exploit it? I also understand the heritage aspect and the history of it. Um, and, and I was the president of the chamber as well. And, and I saw the uh, uh, visitation continue to go down even you know 15 years ago so at the end of the day I just want what's the best for the sisters and and the best for our city and in the history um, but I, I'm gonna just defer to the deputy mayor to see what uh, 
what he's going to come up with. The the option where uh, the family members wanted to move to Corbeil uh, on the original home site, I think, is exciting. Uh, you know, and that uh, kind of makes sense that the home gets put back to where it was originally uh, in Corbeil on the, the same homestead. So I, I think that's now a possibility. So, you know, hopefully... Um, Hopefully, every, when everybody gets together, they'll come up with uh, the right solution for all the options that are out there. But uh, my preference would be, um, you know, if 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 we truly want to preserve the history of that building, then the best possible location is on the original homestead in Corbeil. Reporting for Kojiko North Bay News, I'm Clark Heipel. If you are interested in watching Coach Go North Bay News, you can become a subscriber by calling 1-800-267-9000.